Let's talk about anime. Let's talk about that. I want to talk about anime. Let's not talk about anime. So, anime awards happens. And this is the video. I don't know if this. What is this? Oh, it is a two hour video. Oh, I don't want to watch a two hour video. Oh, I don't want to watch. I want to watch. I want to know who's the winner. Let's start with the bottom. We know the winners. Uh, we know already know the winners. So, anime awards the Crunchyroll. So just to give you a context, Crunchyroll doing a uh, anime awards. They usually do anime awards every year, and I think last year the winner is um, who's the winner? Who's the winner? Who's the winner of last year? Anime awards twenty twenty two. Leave, leave, leave. Uh, 2022 winners. Uh, 2021. Dapat, lagay ko, 2021 winners. Okay, dude. IMDB. Okay. Jujutsu Kaisen is the winner. Uh, and the Anime Awards 2021. So, we are now awarding the 2022 Anime Awards. Um... Uh, Usually, it starts with the fourth quarter of the 2021 and lasted in the third quarter of the 2022. They do not include, usually do not include the uh, last quarter or the last season of the 2022 because of recency issues, recency bias issues. So, usually, kasi syempre, pag may recency bias, syempre, yun yung usually na mabuboto kasi nga recent lang eh kasi recent lang nila ano so para maiwasan yung recency bias i know i understand wala dito yung bleach wala dito yung chainsaw man wala dito yung iba mga gusto nyo bochi tarak which i can guarantee bochi tarak is the 100% will should be win the anime of the year aside from uh chainsaw man or something or ano man so here is the uh the anime awards so yeah and uh yeah just to give you context again again 100 percent di po included dito yung ano past few months na animation due to recency bias due to recency bias hindi po siya included okay wag po kayong mainis kung wala po yung paborito nyong chainsaw man dito or yung bleach na paborito nyo dahil sa recency bias hindi po siya pwedeng mapasok dito okay okay 100 percent so let's go so, best BA performance Arabic Hunter Hunter. I do not have any idea about that one. Best BA performance German, Jujutsu Kaisen. Then, best VA performance Portuguese. Let's have a uh, music about this one. Let's go, baby. So, ulitin natin. <coughs> Sorry, sorry, ulitin natin. Hello, boys and girls. Boys and girls, this is once again Bob. The deep, deep Bob show. We will be talking about anime. And recently, we have a Crunchyroll 2022 Anime Awards. So, we will be, uh, Crunchyroll will be awarding who is the best animes in different categories for the, for the year 2022. And just to give you context, hindi nila sinama. They do not include the um, the uh, last quarter, the past season of the uh, animes like the Jesus Guys and the Bleach, the Bosch, the Rock, and anything in the last season because of the recency bias. So avoid the recency bias issues. It, they didn't include it, okay? So if you are sad because Chainsaw Man is not here or the Bleach is not here, uh, and they are not uh, one of the nominees or they did not win as a award um, Please please understand they did not uh, add those uh, Animes because of the recency bias. So yeah, let's start it Just give you a heads up. This is the official and uh, Winners of the cultural it happens. I think uh, First week of March. I don't know. I forgot when but yeah, it started with that and then it is a two hour actually two hour video which is here yeah and i don't want to watch this too it is two hour i just want to know who is the uh, winners i just want to know who is the winners so yeah so let's start with the bsva arabic i am not an arabic i do not uh, watch 
Arabic version. I only watch subtitles. Japanese and subtitles. You know what I mean? So it is from Arabic. Enter Hunter. Then German. Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. Spy Family. Portuguese. Italian. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. And the best VA performance. Spanish is uh, Demon Slayer. Second season. And the best VA is the French. Ranking of the Kings. And then the VA is the Castilian. Is that's it. So, 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 guys, we form us English that is Zach Aguilar of uh, Cyberpunk. Who is Zach Aguilar? Who is Zach Aguilar? Can I put Oh, David, that's David. Okay, okay, got it. This is the uh, nominees, and I can agree with the selection of this. I watched this anime. Uh, and it is really, um, wholesome. I love it. I love it. The wholesomeness of this. Next, the best VA. Oh, I agree 100%. That it is Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan. Uh, Yuji. See, Yuji, Yuji. Eren Yeager. Eren Yeager. Eren Yeager. So, let's go with the best romance. This is the nominees of the best romance. Um, they have The Call of the Nile, Love After Rebination, Comi Can Communicate, Second Series. Uh, Shikimori is not just cute, you, My Dress Up Darling. Shikimori is just, just not just cute, it's very disappointing anime. I cannot more disappointed on this. I expect him something, some spicy, like the... Yung, ano, yung, uh, may, merong something na spicy in romance, but no, 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 it is just a simp boy and a simp girl that is flirting together that just, the girl is just slightly, uh, muscle-headed, uh, fiery, energetic, and, uh, yuri, and obsessed girl with a boy. Yeah, yun lang siya. Dress Up Darling is a really good anime. Uh, I believe for especially for the wee ones. Um, I like the uh, cosplay. <laughs> That's all I can say. I like the cosplay. I like the cosplays. They are very sexy, very cool, very chunky, chunky, voluptuous, badongka donka. And there is an action in my Dress Up Darling when they are in the hotel. Um, the, the 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 main boy getting harder, harder in the action. Anyhow, love after the world domination. I really like the love after the world domination. A very good romance, actually. Uh, kung alam if you know the uh, Power Ranger power ups. Power Ranger, yes, Power Ranger power ups with romance. Uh, it is a villain versus a good good wherein the villain is the uh, the, the girl and the, the 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 good is the boy the power ranger one and then the yeah it is good it is good really really good i love the comedy it is just that it is ano ba hindi siya unique that's the the yeah it is very unique because it is power ranger it is not the roman section is not just very unique with the other romans i think the most unique romance here is the call of the night i really really love the call of the night romance but i cannot say it is if it is romance because it is still not yet on the uh final dream i mean it is not yet complete it is just starter deck of the romans you know what i mean the starter deck of the romans Itong komi cannot communicate second series i got bored Literally got bored after a few few episodes of first seasons. I got really really bored. I know the premise. It is just episodic episode, episodic series. I I like some episodic series, but uh, uh the episodic series for is really boring for me. I think uh, parang walang nangyari kasi. There's no ano. There's no build up. There's no uh, additional content that I can uh, consume. Or additional uh, romance element that I can consume with the comments and can communicate. Uh, para siya nagikin ni si Koy. If you if you know ni si Koy, ni si Koy. 
ऐसे कोई नहीं सी कोई ओप्स अब सब 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 नहीं सी कोई परेशान नहीं ऐसे कोई नहीं वो कौन दर नहीं सी कोई नहीं सी कोई बट नहीं सी कोई स्टील हैज ए गुड इवेंटफुल एपिसोड्स एंड इट हैज ए गुड एनिमेशन लाइक कॉमिसन सो आई विल से नहीं सी कोई इस बेटर दर दिस एनीहाउ And the last one is Kaguya Summer Love is War, ultra romantic, and this is the last season, I think. And uh, Komisan is agreed. I I can I can hundred percent agree, the hundred 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 two hundred percent agree that they won this category. It is already complete and uh, a very satisfying ending for a Komisan. Yes, it is an episodic episode, but it's more interesting than Komisan. I can say 100%. If you want me to do some specifics about this, I will do it in some video, I think. But I really, really love the romance element of the commission at the end. It is very interesting, and uh, the two, the two, the two, the, the two parties or the two person in, involved in this as an interesting uh, concept as well as um, um, attitude to each other. Parang ganon, ganda ng ano nila. Anyhow, next is. Best fantasy, best fantasy. These are the nominees. The Gisa de Venitas I didn't watch. Rangel Kiss the best one of the cool fantasy opera is kind of mid. Ah, Mashoka Tense Chapter Kas first season second core. Oh my god, this is kind of painful. It is just second core. First season is good. Second core is really really good. Um, then maybe the Beast the Golden City of the first question is really good. The demons there. This is very questionable, super questionable on my part. I do not want. I don't know. It is just. But uh, Demon Slayer is just more popular. I think that's the reason why. Due because of it is more popular than the normal. Then it it wins. It wins. It wins. Uh, the most. The enemy that should win this should be Made in the Beast or the Mushoka Tensei. Rocking of Kings is really good fantasy. It is more a Ghibli side, Ghibli side aesthetic. But it is, it is, it should be, it should be win. This three should win this fantasy, or at least Masakotes should win the best fantasy. It should not be Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer is just a Japanese. Oh my! What? Who? Who vote this one? Who vote? Who vote? Please. What they think about this? Who vote this Demon Slayer? Because of, because popular, because because of this popularity. Oh my God! Because popular, because they're being auto nila. Eto mga anime na enthusiasts na nagano mga Twitter keyboard warriors. Nan malang bobo sila maige, hindi malang sila bobo na maige. Nako. Biroto nila is hindi pa yung talagang ano fantasy literally ano mong God's definition of fantasy it should be fantasy yes it is fantasy but but if you eliminate the uh, the setting about the demons if you eliminate the uh, the uh, the power ups that they have it is just a normal Japanese setting unlike sa mid na bis if you eliminate the power ups that they have di ba they have a very beautiful world that is really really Literally fantasy itself, emotional potency as well, and especially the ranking of kings. Ranking of kings is not in the real world. Fantasy should not be existing in the real world. And somehow this demon slayer won this best fantasy, even though the setting of this is just literally in the real world. I don't know why. Best drama. I agree. There is just a neck-to-neck battle with Cyberpunk and Attack on Titan. I think Kotaro Leaves Alone is also a very good contender in the best drama. A very wholesome anime. I love Kotaro Leaves Alone. It gives you so wholesomeness. In addition to that, it has so many values and lessons that you might use in the real world. It's so many drama as well. 86, I didn't watch 86. I just few episodes the first season didn't watch dance and dance score I didn't watch but my video is very good fudge drama you know what I mean the fudging lolly girl scenarios oh my when 
when I'm thinking about it, uh, I just realize how how sad it is. They sacrifice. Oh my, oh my, those little girls. Anyhow, sorry, pong edge runners. Due to I think popularity, it should be an electronic battle with Attack on Titan and Cyberpunk edge runners. Oh my, they no one knows. Oh my God, no one knows made a beast. Why? Kotaro Leaves Alone is very good anime as well. It was some very wholesome very dramatic it has so very so many elements of uh, good morals and values that you will use that you can use in real life actually it's best comedy oh my cannot agree with this best comedy your boy coming uncle kotaro murders uh, okay kotaro lives alone is not a comedy show i can guarantee Love is War, Love is War is kinda, uh, it's kinda 40% comedy for me. I, okay, to be honest, to be honest, having a comedy in an anime, it is really hard. It is very, really, really hard. It doesn't have those comedy long moments. Okay, there are so many things that I can say na may mga anime, sa lahat ng anime, almost most of the anime, 80 percent of the anime are not especially pag sinabi ng comedy or not funny they are not literally funny they are so exaggerated and they are not funny um i can consider comedy the uh, konosuba for a season the second season is not comedy i can say that second season i think that's a hot take second season of konosuba is not a comedy for me uh, i didn't laugh uh, gamers i like the comedy of gamers the exaggeration yeah i know some of the enemies exaggeration and not funny enough but the exaggeration of uh, gamers and the convoluted the relationships that they have in gamers is uh, very cool that's a good comedy but here in this list the things that i laugh with is the yaboy coming tsaka yung uh uncle that from another world uh, your boy coming another final world is a very good contender in comedy spy family is not a comedy i never laugh in Spy Valley, just a wholesomeness of Spy Valley. I'm happy to have Spy Valley win, but uh, I think the best should be winning in this is your boy coming or Uncle from the other world. Um, it is just that most of the people who vote in this category do not know this animes. It is unfortunate, guys. It is unfortunate. It is bad. It is bad. Anyhow. Let's change the music. Uh... I like this music. Anyhow, let's go, baby. So, let's go with the best action. Best action, Demon Slayer, Attack on Titan, Part 2, Cyberpunk, Edge Runner, Jojo, Bazaar, Stone Ocean, Lake, Lakeris, Recoil, Spy Family. Spy Family is not an action. I can guarantee you 100% when I watch it. Uh, it is not an action uh, anime. There is some action in it uh, from here and there, but it is not a fully action animated uh, style uh, Spy Family. The Creole's record is a very action epic. Oh my god, those girls are cute. I can guarantee you. Uh, it is a uh, baby girl John Wick uh, style. Especially the uh, their main character, Chitose. I really like her. I can uh, guarantee you that she's very cool, very uh, uh, bubbly, bubbly and happy. You can uh, talk with, you can happy to talk with if she is real. Uh, and I love to talk with her, hundred percent. He's a very bubbly character, and I like it. And uh, the action is hundred percent cool, and I like it. Jojo Basan Adventure, uh, Stone Ocean is unfortunate. Netflix didn't do a great job in promoting Jojo Basan Adventure. Stone Ocean, Stone Ocean, Jojo Basan is very cool animated uh, series, and it should be at least on par with the Attack on Titan because of how good the story is. On how good the animation is it is just that yung yung netflix fuck it up netflix just fuck it up we do not have any um we don't have any um 
and it's just unfortunate for Jojo. It is a good action as well. Uh oh, it's a box of shatter. Oh, you know it. I know, I know it. Everyone knows it. It's very cool. Demon Slayer, okay, cool, cool, cool. Attack on Titan is very cool as well. So I can't 50 50 agree with Demon Slayer being the best action 100% because of the last three episodes of action pack or last six episodes action boss to boss, hyper looting, um, high budgeted. Uh, super duper um high rated uh, um over the top uh, um i cannot say any exaggerated word anymore but it's very cool animated style of action uh dun ko lang na realize na, na na hindi lahat ng animators in action do that that they are doing some combination of action from one conflict to another conflict from one um, what I mean is, what the bang ginagawa kasi ni usually sa action is one on one combat. Uh, there are combats that are not related to each other, but here in Demon Slayer, they, they, they introduce us on how can overtop the action wherein those two different actions can complicate and uh, relate to each other and they can affect literally affect what happens to the other action to the other action you know what i mean you know what it mean you know what it is everyone knows and i know it you know it everyone knows it so it is really cool really really cool i i get it why it is um it won the uh, best action but if i will be deciding which of this anime should want also a best action i think it's cyber punk as runners there are very cool action as well in Cyberpunk and Shiners. Next, it is uh, must protect at all cost character. I don't know why it is as this category must protect. So Anya Porger, Boji, Kage, uh, Kotaro Sato, Marine Katagawa, Shoko Konami. Shoko Konami, uh, yes, I can say that uh, she should be uh, protected at all cost. Marine Katagawa should not, uh, cannot be protected. Yes, it should be protected, but but I can say that um, Marine Kitagawa is an independent woman, really strong, independent woman. She did, she didn't need protection. We need protection from her. We need protection from her, especially if we are the main character. Especially we are, if we will insert ourselves to be a main character, we need protection from Marine Kitagawa. We need hundred percent. Uh, especially those action, born, uh, harding, born action. We need protection, literally, hundred percent. You know what I mean, right, 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 right. Guys, guys, guys. You can, you cannot say that Marin Katagawa needs protection. We need protection from her. Okay, we don't know what will happen if we are with Marin. Okay, just think about it. If we are with Marin and Marin is just like that. Um, with us with the uh, main character then we need more protection we need those protection that we need to buy just kidding anyhow kotaro sato is yeah kotaro sato needs protection 100 percent but kotaro sato in my opinion can 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 live without can live without anyone actually if you know what i mean if you watch this anime it is 100 percent a good anime wholesome more valuable than other animes that i've watched um 100 percent he needs protection because he is a child but he doesn't need your protection because he can he can do anything he can do more than anything than you can do he can live he can live individually he can live his own. He can live in his own. Unlike you. Unlike me. Actually, I can live on my own. It is just, I can, I, yeah, I live on my own. It is sad. <laughs> it is sad. I don't have no friends. I live on my own. Oh my god. It is sad. Anyhow, Kage, Kage. Aki doesn't need protection. Kage is just an assassin. Boji, 100% need protection. Anya Porger. Anya for Jordan's protection, yeah, kind of 50-50, but, uh, you know, Anya, Anya is just a child that has a telepathic powers, uh, you don't know what will happen if he reads your mind, if you have some, um, 
somehow negative you know you know what i mean you know what i mean those those weeaboos who are okay with this um some uh, negative uh, aspects of their lives that thinking some lewdness and and some sexy hot stuff you know what i mean uh we need to you know you know what i mean you need to go away with anya forger we we do not want her to know what are in our minds that's kind of kind of sauce and kind of hard to uh, stop so anya forger do not uh, with that sense anya forger do not need protection at all he can she, she she can she can do all of her own actually she can she can she can uh uh, uh, uh yeah 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 agreed 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 guys guys right right um uh, oh my anya forger uh, oh my just 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 think about it if you have someone that is a child that is beside you reading your minds can you can you or you want to pro do you want to protect that particular child I think not, right? I think she can. She can. She can do it herself. She can. She can live. She can live, right? She can. She can. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. So the only thing that needs protection, hundred percent here is Boji. Yeah, hundred percent. Boji um has a uh as a disabled person, so he needs protection. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Boji as a disabled person, he needs protection. Okay, hundred percent. Even in the reality of words, all the people who are disable has a protection okay a high protection so with that sense it is 100 percent needs to be protected all those people doesn't have all those people this 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 category do not have any oh aside from shoko komi oh no 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 shoko komi can speak it is just it is just it is just it, it is just um i don't want to say it but but uh Shadow sa maarte. It's just a butch. It's just a butch and not saying anything. She wants to be important. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Anyhow, so Marine Katigawa, yeah, doesn't need. We need protection from her, hundred percent. We need protection from her. Those protections or can be by just kidding best supporting character the best supporting character is your forger is is kind of a fudge up right uh, there is two category two 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 members of the family in the yojo family your forger family in spy family that is nominated here it's kind of kind of kind of kind of unfair for spy family they should have only one only one okay Okay, your forger, Tenjen, Zui, Rebecca, Kage, Ai, Hayasaka, Anya Forger. Okay, hundred uh, percent. Anya Forger is not the best supporting character. I can guarantee you, your forger is not the best supporting character for me. Um, best supporting character should be for Ai, Hayasawa, or Kage. Rebecca is also a good supporting character for the main character in the last part. But Kage is the best, the best, the best from start to finish. Became the best supporting character character for Boji as well as I Ayesawa until the end of the season. So I Ayesawa should win this. Okay. Racking Racking of Kings has two seasons only. It has three. This <laughs> so a bit that di ba di ba di ba di ba don't think about the main season na uh, sinuportahan niya yung ano yung main character ay sa ay ay sa wa did more than anything that kage did um except for actually kage just just a rub just a rub boji right so so with that sense, I Hayasawa wins should be winning this best supporting character. Best main character, I can agree 100%. See si Eren Yeager. Eren Yeager. I can see why. Marine Ketagawa, Lord Forger, Lloyd Forger, Chita, Anishikege, Boji, and Eren Yeager. Without a doubt, it is Eren Yeager. 
100% I can vote with Aaron Diegar. Aaron Diegar, best director. Yuichi Ayasa Hayashi uh, Yosuke Hata Shingo Dachi um, Kazuhiro Furuhashi Hiroyuki Imashi Haru Soto Saki Sorry if I did mispronounce every name of it I didn't speak in Japanese as well in English I am not speaking English Now I am not speaking English I can guarantee you this is just a hallucination that I'm speaking English, but I'm not speaking English, I'm speaking in Tagalog. So, uh, the best director is from Demon Slayer. Kinda... Kinda... Yeah, I think I can... I can, I can, I can... Uh, I can... Uh, due to the action, I think, yes. But... If we will talking about from episode 1 to end, I believe uh, Hiroyuki Imaishi should win, should won this best director because yo 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 kung mananalo if the Demon Slayer will win, it is only based on manga. Uh Cyberpunk Edition is original. So, I think uh having an anime that is based on an original doesn't that doesn't have any um uh, any uh source material is an advantage against to those uh, anime that has a manga it has their own uh benefits as well as own uh, advantages in terms of directing you do not have any uh, guide at least right so having an original anime like li 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 this this likoroi li 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 likoroi loloi nakalimutan ang pangalan ng anime na to um should have an advantage in this particular particular um award so i think cyberpunk and should win this i believe so anime song best anime song the rumbling chiki chiki bam bam comedy my non-fiction, shall we dance? Shall we dance? Shall we dance? Shadow House? Oh, this anime. Okay. Uh, and it won. And then New Genesis. Nang red. Okay. I 100%. Yes, the rumbling is good. Yeah, I think it is. It is. It is. I think it's, it is. I agree that the rumbling should win this category because of popularity demand. But if I can insist one, it should be the chiki chiki bamban. Chiki chiki bambon. Oi, oi, oi. Sin si sin bang hindi maakan as chiki chiki bamban. Wait lang ah. Chiki chiki bamban. Tinama tinama tong chiki chiki bamban. Chiki chiki. Chiki chiki chik and chik chiki chiki bamban. Okay. Si sino sino hindi makakaano sa chiki chiki bamban na to. Okay. Tina mo tong chiki chiki bamban na to. Sino bang sino bang hindi makakaano sa chiki chiki bamban na yan ha? Okay. Okay, wait lang. Just stop it. Tina mo siya. Walang ya. Sino hindi makakaano sa chiki bamban na to? Ban ban chiki chiki ban ban chik 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 chiki chiki ban ban Sino bang hindi mapapa indak Sino 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 Diba? Right 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 So yeah I think it is just a popular demand and I, I agree agree I, I, I heard the rumbling uh, many times I replayed it many times as well So best film Best film, the the deer. I don't know the deer king. Maybe I will watch it. Inoho, I never know the Inoho. I will try to watch it as well, on my own time. Dragon Ball Super, Bubble, and Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. Okay, okay. Jujutsu Kaisen Zero has more sales than Zero Kamen Super, so I think that's big advantage, and at this, I think that's also. That's also a uh, proof that Jujutsu Zero is better than Dragon Ball Superhero. But, uh, you know what? 
you know what in my my own based personal opinion my own opinion dragon ball super zero is better than jujutsu kaisen jujutsu kaisen is just boring the film is good the action is good the story is mid but dragon ball super hero new uh style of animation the 3d one as well as the um introducing of uh, beast gohan is really cool okay i i love it i love it i cannot say anything i can't say anything bad and how ridiculous how they made the, the power-ups in dragon ball but still dragon ball is dragon ball maybe it's just a bias for me but i love dragon ball i love the that anime that that superhero against this super just kind zero okay best score okay uh Mm-hmm. With this. Okay, okay, good. Dude, dude, dude. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh I forgot. I really forgot this. Uh Anima Kanta to I should it's in the left. Anima Kanta to oh i see i see <laughs> oh my god it will be hard to be come to be uh to be fight on so we fight on tapatan nabayang gisya tapatan di ko alam mayroon tong ano yun talunin it hard it is hard to beat it is really hard to beat. If there's one can beat it, I think it is in Made on the Beast. Made on the Beast musical something is um, always it's really good, hundred percent. But still, this, 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 this is in the next level. This is on the next level. I will guarantee you. This is on the next level, hundred percent. On the next level. 100 percent 100 percent so i can guarantee you that this is the well deserved deserve well deserved well deserved well deserved well deserved 100 well percent oh my there's so many attack on titans won in this series i think this is the uh, attack on titan year you know, you know what I mean. A title on Tata and Year. Best continuing series. So these are the nominees. Me the beans. Those uh, popping off uh, little girls are still on this best continuing series. So uh, even though they are dead, <laughs> sorry, not a spoiler. But they are dead. Maybe not. Maybe yes. We don't know. So yeah. Oh, Love is War. Jojo Bazaar. Demon Slayer. Attack on Titan. Final Zero Part 2. And One Piece. Okay. Last year, Dragon Ball won. So I think they give it in One Piece. 100% One Piece. Deserving. 100% deserving. I cannot say anything. One Piece is a mid-story. <laughs> And uh, a million fans of One Piece just pissed off of what I said that One Piece is meat. No, 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 just kidding. No, no, no. Okay, One Piece is so long, super long that most of the uh, arcs are mid. But, but here I say, but some of the arcs are cool and upper mid. I would say. Uh, One Piece is, is, uh, yeah, personal opinion is kind of above mid. One Piece is good. One Piece is good. When I think about it, One Piece is great, actually. One Piece is great, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this, uh, this season of One Piece is on a different level, especially the one arc really different level yeah, yeah yeah but still i can skype your arc still good 
and the uh, arc that has the Cyberpol 9, the Robin arc, that's that's the best one I think for me. So nice, best new series. Ya yeah, boy coming, darling Lecroy, Cyber Edge Runner Call of the Night. Oh my god, best new series. Lecroy Lecroy should win on this. I love it. Wait lang. Just hold her for a second. Wait lang, wait lang. So, ya boy coming during the fra uh, may uh, during the Frank story, sorry. Uh, my dress up darling Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk and Shredder Spy Family. No miss for a new series and I think um It is either Cyberpunk or Lacroix Licorice Recoil should win this. Um I wanna face off so those people are spy family spy family um fans spy family is mid spy family is just wholesome uh it doesn't add up some good value to to other to, in watching anime actually it doesn't have any 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 um any value to me it is just decent i would say it's just decent it doesn't have any impact that gives me wow you know you know what i mean everyone knows it and uh, I don't know if it's just me. It doesn't give me a wow impact. The the thing that the the, the enemies that give me a wow impact in this list is the Ya Boy Coming, Licorice Recoil, Cyberpunk Edge Runners, and sometimes Call of the Night. Call of the Night, you know it, you know it. It is an adult girl that is in the body of a lolly. Okay, adult girl that is in the body of a lolly that wants to wants to fudge wants to fudge a a minor literally call of the night is another girl in a, in, a, in a body of a lolly that wants to fudge a minor 100 percent and wants to kill and uh, no no wants to kill want to suck want to suck a minor no no that's fudge it's suck want to suck a minor and very it is very interesting if you will you will you know what i mean no you know <laughs> to those people who know what i mean eh, that those people who are in self inserting themselves in the main character nay what are you doing yourself nay it is not me 100 percent yeah it is not me or is it or is it or is it anyhow Cyberpunk Edge Runners should win this because of those jiggly bonkadonka in the first episodes, uh, having a um, a, uh, a a sex life that uh, cannot be imagined by any weeb uh, members in the anime communities that will never be ever happen in their own life. So, um, Cyber Edge Runners is one of the good categories, a good contender, and best new series. Um, because of those events, not just because of these cool animations and having a good uh, story starting in an episode 6. It is all because of the badonka donka hotness of those girls. Right? Especially the main characters. Especially Rebecca. Not Rebecca. I didn't say Rebecca. I said, uh, what is her name? The main character girl. The white one. Yeah, yeah, the white one. I like white. No particular reasons. Just kidding. Anyhow, uh, best animations. Best animations is um. So oh, oh sorry. If I will say the best new series should won by 
Oh, Cyber Edge Runners. Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Uh, maybe Likoy, Likoy, Likoy. Okay, let's say. Okay, this Licorice Recoil. Licorice Recoil is a young weak girl that has a Yuri on it. Right? Right, right. Uh, girls wants to um uh, to suck each other. However, they cannot because their anime is not rated 18. If it's rated 18, then it should they should do it. Hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. Anyhow, uh, best animation. Oh, best animation. Oh, I see. Oh, best animation. Okay. Okay, best animations by Family, Rocking of Kings, Cyberpunk Edge Runners, Attack on Titan, Akabe Sailor 4. Mm, I didn't watch Akabe. Demon Slayer, yeah. Um, due to popular demand because of its popularity and it, because it looks literally good actually. I cannot say anything bad about Demon Slayer's art style and animation it's really 100% good and deserves to win but 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 if i will say the uniqueness of animation i will go with ranking of kings if you if the definition of the uh, best animation is more on the uniqueness of the animation it should be the ranking of kings 100% 100% 100% no doubt about it no doubt about it someone will doubt Will be uh, will be cursed. Will be cursed to be in the Antatak Titan final season, and you might be dead. And the best decision you will make is to kill yourself. Anyhow, uh, best character design. Sheesh. Nay. Okay. Cyberpunk Ace Runner best character design is more on the um, rated 18 style, which is a uh, rated 18 in a uh, sci fi world with different mechanism of robots and technology. Uh, that is a good design as well. Next is the uh, Masahiro Shino Jojo Bazaar. Jojo Bazaar Adventure is super 100% contender for a. Uh, uh, best character design is very unique uh, it is not your particular design that you will see in anime style 100 percent should won the uh the best anime uh, character design kazuma ishida of the darling in best my dress of darling is just cosplaying uh remember the people who are in the real world now in now in they are now in the anime with the uh, comes with a um, boy a dancer boy yeah yeah a dancer boy uh kazuka shimada of spy family is not very unique uh tsuka nozaki a very unique anime character design rank of kings and demon slayer oh my god but why this one's there when this it should be the jojo basa adventure or the ranking of kings i get that ranking of kings is more ghibli puff ghibli puff Ghibli style of animation, but still, it's still very unique in animation. Should be winning. If you will not count the uh, style of Jojo Bazaar Adventure in previous part 1 to 5, then uh, Rocking Wish should win based on the uniqueness. <coughs> yeah, it should be Rocking of Peace, right? Best original anime, 100%. Uh, Likoi Koel. I love the Yuri stuff. I love the girls. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not 100%. I'm not uh, into the lolly girl, but I am into a cute, cute, uh, mature girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true, true. That's that's where. Birdie Wing is. It is not that category, actually. It is the best original anime. Based on story, it is. It is good. Uh, Likori Likoi Likori Likoi Likori Likoi Likoi Nakalimuto ko yung pangalan Likori Koi Likori Likoi Eh I will just call it uh, Yuri Koi Yuri Koi is um, A very good anime Because of his action As well as the uh, uh, Plot uh, Twist 
for the problems or issues na how they tackle the um, situations. There are so many things na pwede pag-usapan kung ano ba yung nangyayari sa Lurili Coil. Kung saan eh, uh, you will find it interesting kasi you will question some of the values that they, uh, they uh, portray in the uh, in situations on is it right is it wrong where where's where's the right who is the right who is the wrong that's that's cool enough it is not that so deep wherein you can um para mahabala death note yung style hindi ganon ano siya sobrang sobrang babaw lang niya to the point that you can relate to each situation have your own conclusion So it is very cool anime that you can start off and you can share with. Um, yeah, there is no actually the, the the thing here is there's no actually a uh, fan service I would say there's no. Some of it has some of the scenes or episodes of the really cool has a fan service, but it doesn't have those sexual thing that you will feel guilty to watch or a guilty pressure to watch it is not it is not it is not it is not a very wholesome cute and uh, good show that i can recommend for original anime but doing cute girls doing golf stuff healer girl uh a girl that is healer in short i didn't watch orbital children uh the children that is orbiting the earth which is equals to i didn't watch a uh, vampire in the garden that is literally a boy that has a girl that is in the garden which is literally a vampire i think uh, which i presume uh, uh the usual stuff in anime that i didn't watch and yurei deko that i also didn't watch so that's all So the main thing here, why I pick uh, the best original anime as uh, the Yuri Recoil, is that because most of these animes is I didn't watch. I just look like, like, LR. Why? Why not? Why not? And lastly, the anime of the year. Anime of the year. Tempo kapilian. So as my family, Rocky of Kings, the Yuri Recoil, Demon Slayer, Attack on Titan, several other. Ah, uh, I actually. Uh, pres- uh, actually, um, thought that Attack on Titan will win, but because of the awards, look at this, look at this, look at the awards. How many Attack on Titan is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 six of the six out of aw- how many awards is this? I don't know. Is it not Attack on Titan? Who will who will who will presume that it didn't win that no, anime of the year because of those six awards? It can be the anime of the year, but uh, Saber Edge Runner wins, and I'm glad I'm glad that Saber Edge Runners wins. It is not due to popular demand. It is not it, actually it is due actually then to popular demand, but it is good actually it is a good series Cyberpunk, and the girl is cute. Bob. I think you are basing to watch an anime based on how good the girl is looks like. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I am not. I can guarantee you. No, I'm not. I am not that particular person who are watching just the anime who are have a cute girls doing wholesome things and have it to do some badass and cool action effects. I'm not that person. I'm not that person. Mm, maybe sometimes maybe so maybe so but usually not i'm not okay so guys 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 yo that's the anime awards so what What are your thoughts? Did you agree to my picks? Did you agree to the picks? What are your thoughts? Please leave me down in the comments below. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. The chat below. Ano ba ang gusto nyo ang anime na nalo sana? Did you agree to what I've said? 
do you want me to inculcate or give you some uh, more information why I picked this one, that one? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. And if ever you, you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more. That's all. That's all. That's all. Literally. Literally. <laughs>